Okay, I'll call the meeting to order. <clears throat> Resolve that the agenda for the June 20th, 2019 financial plan public hearing be approved as amended. Move, uh, moved by Councillor Mentoni, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? All in favor? That's carried. <clears throat> Resolve that, uh, yeah. Resolve that uh, as per section 162 of the Municipal Act, the council permit Councillor Dwayne White to be absent from this hearing. Moved by Councillor Gray, second by Councillor Morio. Discussion, all in favor, it's carried. Okay, I'll call the hearing to order. The purpose of the hearing is to provide an overview of the 2019 financial plan and to allow any interested persons to make representation, ask questions, or register an objection regarding the 2019 financial plan. I'll now have uh, Mr. Kroll do uh, our presentation for us. I don't think our presentation is going to go ahead. Can we do it? <clears throat> um, so this is uh, the financial plan presentation of 2019. Um, these are these are the rules out of the uh, out of the um, municipal act on how um, public hearings are supposed to be conducted. I don't think we really need to go through all of it, other than the fact that, as you can see, we uh, we excused one of the members from the hearing as per as per the act. Uh, the rest of it is that uh, the chair uh, can limit uh, limit questions and uh, and presentations to 10 minutes during the uh, during the presentation and uh, if conduct gets uh, out of hand then he can ask you to leave as well. But I don't think that's going to happen tonight. So, um, so the goals for the 2019 budget were to balance the budget uh, while accomplishing the needs, needed work of the town. Um, we ran a deficit last year, <clears throat> a couple hundred thousand, and uh, that's not a comfortable place to be in if the province doesn't allow us to carry deficits. So um, our, our last year's uh, mill rate was 18.92. This year it has to go to 22.308. Um, it's a fair size jump, uh, but I believe it's a needed jump. And I think uh, uh, throughout the presentation, we'll, we'll kind of show how that worked out. Uh, the service charges, uh, the service charges are paid, uh, police service is, is paid for 100% of the service charges. Transportation is about 35% of the service charges. And the trash and recycling is about 75% of the service charges. Uh, this is an overview of the uh, of the financial plan. Uh, on the left here, this is the money that uh, we raised through the mill rates, grants and loo, uh, the school requisition. Really, that's that's an in and out thing. It's uh, uh, just it's just on this line and nowhere else in our financial plan. Um, other revenue, um, two point seven million. We're not using accumulated surplus this year, and we're not using transfers from reserves. Uh, so the mill rates, because they went up, or there's going to be about 593,000 uh, raised uh, more than more than last year. Grants and loo, 38,050 uh, from grants and loo. School requisition is going down by about 42,000, but again, that we have no control over that. Other revenue is going up by about 190,900. Uh, accumulated surplus so obviously is going down by 100,000, and transfers from reserve is going down by 44,000. So, what we uh, what we end up with is that uh, last year we we had about seven million to spend. This year we have about 7.6 million to spend, which is 635,000 uh, higher than last year. General government. Uh, that's the office and the CAO and uh, the clerks and everything like that. Um, it's 757000 this year, which is down by 8000 from last year. Protective services, 
is up a little bit, 64,997. Um, good portion of these are largely in and out uh, um, expenses, paying for police and things like that. Um, transportation is going up by 44,000. Trash and recycling is up by $127,800. Um, public health is going down by 46,000. It was a, oh, that's that's an incorrect number there. It was a, it's 188,000. I got two ones there. Sorry about that. So it's going down by 46,000. Uh, regional planning is uh, standing about the same, about $1,300 more, but you know, it's 36 to 37,000. Um, resource and industrial development, that is our economic development and um, there's, there's money in there to uh, hopefully go into an agreement with the other municipalities going forward on uh, doing some pretty exciting things with uh, economic development if, if everybody gets on board. Our recreation is up by about $71,212 to $1.6 Fiscal services is up by about 69,000. Deficit recovery is the, is the same, so it really hasn't changed. Uh, reserves, uh, as you can see, is 363,000 last year for reserves and 635,000 this year for reserves. So it's, it's, uh, it's quite a jump, uh, but uh, I believe the, uh, the finance department believes this is where we need to go with, uh, with reserves to put us in a better place. Uh, allowance for taxable assets um, is changed by $44. <clears throat> and as you can see, uh, 635, 741, 635, 742, it's, it's effectively a balanced budget. And this is our pie chart. Um, it's, uh, it really is just the lines from the previous one, but uh, people understand things in different ways. Some people understand them by by seeing the, the standard chart, and other people understand things better by seeing it in a pie chart. So, as you can see, that the REC is 1.6, protective services 1.5, and uh, environmental health, that's water, sewer, and such, is 1.18 million, um, and the rest are, are accordingly. You can see here that uh, regional planning is at 0%. It's not really 0%. I think when you do the math, it's 0.04 or something like that. So it doesn't it doesn't come up to the threshold to be one percent. So it's not really a, an error. It's it's just it hasn't been zeroed out properly. This is uh, this is the ramifications on the various uh, properties according to property value uh, for the municipality <coughs> this coming year. Uh, the the top two boxes here are residential fifty thousand to two fifty three hundred to five hundred. And these are the increases that are going to happen according to the mill rate changes. Um, you know, they're, they're not pretty, but uh, they are, I think, required. And as you can see on the bottom, the commercial property assessments, same, same setup, 50000 to 500000 and and the, uh, and the increases that go along with it. So uh, in capital this year, stuff we're actually gonna, gonna buy rather than making payments to different things. It's, uh, we're doing a $1 million uh, well, water well improvement, uh, which is well underway. 260,000 for a new garbage truck that uh, is required. We're doing about 40,000 in, uh, in sidewalk work. And we have to do an, uh, an environmental assessment on the lagoon this year uh, because we have to uh, make some renovations according to what the Ministry of the Environment is saying for us to be able to continue. And there's uh, 32,000 in there for a pickup truck replacement according to the equipment replacement schedule. In the recreation, uh, there's, a, there's a big project going on right now. It's about 300,000 and it's to, uh, it's to uh, put a, put a temporary floor above the old floor um, and put in new headers and stuff that are going to run run the glycol uh, above the concrete uh, temporarily. Uh, that temporarily may be uh, between a couple of years and probably 10 years. Uh, 
it helps the town to get into a better place financially before we can uh, move ahead with any anything else with the uh, with the arena floor. We're doing about sixty thousand in uh, in pool repair, engineering, and design. So um, we we have some work going on there for that, but it's mostly paperwork at this point, getting design and, and engineering stuff done. Are there any questions? I'll just read the next part here, uh, Mr. Crow, and then we'll get into that, okay? So uh, I request that any person making representation to the hearing state their name and civic address. Uh, sorry, state my name? <coughs> state your name and your civic address. Oh, okay. Colleen Clark, 1306 Street South. Did you want to come a little bit closer, Colleen, or are you fine back there? Can you hear me back there? Or not? You might as well come up here. Here? Yeah, sure. It's actually, it's up. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's up by about eight thousand. Okay. The budget's up. The yeah, it's it, we're budget is below the actual. Yeah. Oh, we, we're, is not yeah, we're doing budget. Uh, right. It's budget to budget. We can't right. do actual to actual. Well, mm -hmm. um, so we do budget to budget, which is showing it's going up. Mm -hmm. right. so, yeah. yeah. So it's not minus. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's that okay. was just an error on my part. So. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, I just, I was just a bit confused. Yeah, it. no, if I wanted to not to do a real error, I would move some of the bigger numbers that I believe that was going on. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so do you just want questions up to this part, or is there a, any question you questions want? Questions in general? Okay. Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure, I know there was a hearing a few, um, I don't know, number of weeks ago, I guess now, about the being fixed yeah. is that I know there was the sixty thousand, but the amount that was talked at that hearing was about close to two million. Is that going ahead? Like I won't see it in here. That's why I'm asking. Okay, I'll, I'll let Councillor Gray respond to that. Okay. So the amount of repairs to the pool are currently unknown. We have an estimate. Right. That ranges from number to number, and two million dollars is, is almost a number out of the air, but it's approximately because we know some big numbers and what they're going to be. The problem is that we don't. This before you go ahead, one of our problems with the pool was that we explained that we think that we didn't necessarily go through carefully enough in the first instance, and so we have some challenges. We're going to go through a lot more carefully this time. So the starting point is to go through with a proper proposal with a number of checkoffs. We have a, a firm that's doing work with us with the lawsuit. We expect that they're going to do that assessment. So by the end of this fiscal year, we hope to have that assessment done, which is the sixty thousand dollars. So there'll be a, a plans and so on. We'll be able to then put it out for tender. The idea is that next year we will do repairs. I think it's highly unlikely we'll do the whole $2 million. I, I, I don't, I, it'll be a decision for council and then a public hearing and then we'll, we'll decide that then. But I think it's highly unlikely we'll do the full $2 million. We will do some things. It may be that we'll have a settlement of the lawsuit, uh, in which case um, that money will be used for the priority items. And, and we'll have another hearing just on what we're going to do with the pool. Um, independent of the budgetary process, the budgetary process that will be that. Uh, you will also notice in capital items, there's $85,000 scheduled in capital items. That's set aside for the lawsuit itself. We have no idea where that's headed. Okay, so the bottom line is this year, the repairs to the pool. There'll be no repairs. Okay, that's how it's looking for. Okay, and I noticed, okay, the increase in the mill rate, I'm not very good with that, that way. So what, per Three and a half. what percentage is that? Uh, no, roughly 3.5 over 18. So it's going up by between 12 and 17.2 percent, according to 
how much your your house is worth. Right, 12, 12 Between uh, twelve point six and seventeen point two, uh, according to how much your house is worth between fifty and five hundred thousand. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I understand where the town's at, and what do you do? But I mean, I don't know. That's a huge increase. I don't foresee my wage hasn't gone up 12% in the past 10 years. During the campaign, there was lots that was being mentioned about affordable housing for seniors. This is, you know, it should be affordable housing for everybody, uh, particularly the young that live here who want to keep them here because like, so nobody's wage goes up that percentage. That is, I know mine doesn't. And right. There's a lot of people in the same situation, I'm sure. Um, yeah, and you know, people are, from what I heard from the people, they're tired of seeing the lights, the, the um, what you call it, they're tired of seeing the tail lights leaving Swan River and not returning. So this, I don't know, this is a huge hike for everybody. Like I said, there was lots about seniors, board housing for seniors and all that. I don't see how this is going to be affordable. It's fairly affordable for us. And they're on more of a fixed income, I guess, than, than we are personally, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, everybody is on a fixed income to a certain extent, but I'm just saying this is, this is huge. Yeah. So do you, do you have a question in there then, Colleen? I was just wondering what, like, what's being looked at to try and cut some costs. And I know, like you said, like, you're going to make mistakes, not going to be on an $8,000 amount, but $8,000 and $2,000 and $5,000, that all adds up. Absolutely. So what other is uh, items are being looked at? Well, just, just so that, you know, like <clears throat> some of the, you know, you've seen on the, on the slide here that some of our additional costs that we see, and we're, we're almost playing a bit of catch up here as far as that goes, like the policing costs and the recycling costs that you see there, uh, and, you know, building the water building and so on, but there's far more other things too. But um, we, we want to get to a point where we can start looking at that. And council has been looking at uh, that. You're asking about maybe cutting things and we're, we're looking at all our departments, quite honestly, uh, and moving forward in the next six months, which we plan on getting our budget done a lot sooner uh, for 2020. But council will be actively working on uh, all the areas and departments to see where we can find uh, what services we may need to cut. And, and quite frankly, we may have to ask the, the citizens saying, what do they not want? Because this is really, at the end of the day, the cost of doing business in the town of Swan River. It is? Yeah. Yes. I have another question. Okay, go ahead. You may or may not want to answer it. <laughs> um, there was a new bylaw in January 2019 for the Councillors and Mayor Indemnity. What percentage did that go up? It didn't go up actually. It yeah. went down. It went down. The council took a, a pay cut. What was that percentage? No, it was, it's more complicated than that. <coughs> what happened was that the re, you want to make oh, yeah, yeah. Canada Revenue Agency used to provide for an, an allowance for councillors so that some portion of it was non taxable and the remainder was taxable. Because they changed the formula, um, councils across Manitoba, for the most part, change their indemnities so that the net amount the councillors received based on a basic deduction remained the same. So for instance, in my case, presumably the um, indemnity will actually go down because my tax rate will be higher than, than, than there are other people here. So if it's beyond the minimum tax bracket, it will actually go down. Having said that, we increased it so as a gross amount to the town, but nothing extra for councillors. Having said that, when we debated the ballot, uh, the, the budget, um, we also recognized that there were challenges and that there was a need to show some leadership in this. And so the gross indemnity, the gross amount paid for councillors, um, is in second reading at this point. Is that right, Mr. Pearl? It's already gone through first reading and second reading, so there'll be a, a net redu or a reduction of 10% of that previous increase. Okay, so it's that, like for councillors, is it? 13, 19, right? I, I don't so, know the number so of them. like 
ten percent down. We we so have had a ten percent pay cut to what yeah. we take home. Just yeah. and and if we recognize it's not a huge amount. It's it's sort of like the eight thousand dollars, but it's 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 just a reflection of the fact that we understand this is a budget that hurts everyone. And, and so our plan is to acknowledge that, to accept it and say, as a measure of leadership, as a measure of, of example, we understand that and we're taking a reduction similar to what we expected the tax increases to be. Right, great. You know, and you're here to represent your town. You're not here to... No one here is making, get, getting, getting rich right. by being on uh, council. No, no, they don't. My next question is, does council receive benefits? Say that again? Do you receive benefits? No, we do not. You don't. <laughs> you mean extra lost nights? <laughs> oh. That's a joke. I'm yeah, sorry, so. Ms. Mark. I apologize. Um, next, I guess, comment. Um, in just my thought process, because I have also worked in public service for 30 some years, um, we don't get Christmas parties. The bottom line is, I don't want to be humbled on Christmas, but if we're looking at cutting costs, I don't think it's fair to any taxpayer to pay for certain people to go to a Christmas party. Just a suggestion. Um, people, for example, in other public services, they reach five, ten. And I know that also includes volunteers, and that and you know what? Volunteers are a great part of the community. And yes, you know, they should be acknowledged, but maybe like 5, 10, 15 kind of thing. Um, and like so I know in other uh, public service places, like go give like two free tickets and for that particular year because they're being honored, right? Um, I understand, I don't know what, maybe it's around, I don't know what this last one was, but I think around $3,000, again, it's not a huge amount but every $3,000 adds up. And sooner or later then maybe it would be enough to take one of our, like a mill rate down. Okay. Well, we can you know, take that under advisement. Just, just little things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. So right now, once the municipal board, I'm assuming they're going to approve the, the loan of a million three hundred. Five thousand. Sorry, say that again. I says I'm assuming that the municipal board will approve. Um, there is a page down. It is a million three hundred twenty-five thousand. You're looking for page thirteen. Okay. So then, am I correct that the deficit that will be in is eight million three hundred fifty-four thousand four hundred sixty-seven dollars? Is that correct? What is the deficit? I mean, what? The like our, our, our loans. Sorry. What our borrowing capacity is, you mean? No, what, that we're gonna what the amount will be that will have been borrowed once the what million. So page 13, you say Page 13 is, is where the, it, you're looking for the 1 million right. three, and I'm just right. looking for the other number. I, I did, I know what you're talking it's about. 5709. Yeah. It's, uh, it's on. Um, it's page 11. Yeah, page 11. There's the municipal office of the center, it's quite a pretty quick and piece of better. We had all those stuff. So we will have $7 million worth of debt after next year. Or at the end of this year, once we've borrowed the 1.3. Or what was the eight? Well, we, at, the, at the end of making our bank payments in 2019, we'll owe 5.7, and then we're going to add additional 1.3. Well, I added up that the amount that we had in the bank account that we had in 2019, we'll owe 5.7, and then we're going to add additional 1.3. The utility would be separate. Correct. The utility accounts, like the um, what you call it? like the Ross upgrades, pays. That's probably where you're getting that extra. Oh yeah, yeah. if you have the utility in as well, then yes, your your number to be right. Yeah, I'm not seeing that. I can't remember what I added here now. So if you had that one point three in there, that'll bring it up to the eight. Mm -hmm. 
So, oh, I see there. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And, and, yeah. So that comes from uh, water rates. Okay. So, so the, yeah. the lifts, I'm talking about the recoveries for the stations? Well, okay. the that comes from the utility. Yeah. The, the debt on page 11 will come from taxes. The debt on page 12 will be paid by water rates. Right. Okay. And, and, and just for clarity, the, the, um, I think the well, as I know, is part of the utility. And so that number, so you match them, is um, 2.2 million. Sorry, what are you on? If you, if you go to page 12, okay. Okay, you see 1.39 million. That's the closing balance for the utility. The the nine. If you go back to page 13, 963779. That's also the utility. So it's almost a million dollars. So for all intents and purposes, one 2.3 million dollars to be owed by the for the water, but that's covered by water rates. Okay, so are our water rates then going up again? Well, water rates will, will eventually go up. We've right, but I mean, we just had the increase. Was that last year? Oh, no. That was two years no. ago. Two years ago. So, two years ago. We don't, we don't currently have an application before the before the board to raise water rates. We will be preparing one because that's what got us last time, was waiting 19 years to put in a rate application. So we will be preparing one. But it, w it won't be in 2019 that there it'll even go before the board. Oh, so, yeah. We we heard horror stories of some new spots taking six and seven years. Yeah. Well, ours our last one took six years. So, so Colleen, just just so you're clear, so the, the actual town debt is um, okay. You have to add two numbers. You have to go to page where am I here? Page twelve. Well, page twelve again. Okay, or page eleven. It's five point seven. Million, and then the only other debt that we're borrowing for for the town, which is on page thirteen, is three hundred and sixty-two thousand, which is the fleet net communication system. Yeah, and the arena. So, so for the town, the town's borrowing, not the utility, but the town is six million in total. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Just a little over six million. But it, just so you're clear, not, you're six million in one and two million in the utility. Okay. Does does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have a couple questions on page two. Um, it has citation there. I know it's up seventeen, almost eighteen thousand. Is that what has nothing to do with the with the or whatever. For where, where are we? Right. I didn't hear the question. Sorry, page two. Yeah. Uh, line 0847. Yeah. That's up close to 17692. I was just wondering what that was for. Or just a, like, is that a special something that's being done? Or? That is revenue. Yeah, you're on revenue. Our revenue is yeah, down. That's revenue. Revenue. That's revenue. Revenue is down three thousand dollars. No, for the recreation and culture, it's up there. Eight four seven. Last year's budget was one hundred and sixty thousand. This year's is one hundred and fifty seven thousand. Our revenue is yeah. There's you have to look at the first row and the and the third row because the second is the actual. Right. So I was going from the actual to this year's budget. Right. Yeah, it's going down. No, it's quite, we're expecting to gain seven to have seventeen thousand dollars more revenue than we oh, had right. last year. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Okay. Okay. So um, underneath, okay, it's line zero nine five zero. Mister Lane, yes. That amount from the actual last year to this year's budgeted is <coughs> down quite a bit. What is that? Can we have a Terry? Can you answer that question? This is not too much trouble to decide that. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I was yeah. just curious what it is. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's fine. Um, the next question, page four, uh, line five three, number five three seven zero, medical officer. That's down from the actual last year to this year's projected five fifty six thousand. Oh, Councillor Gloria. Um, that is our contribution to doctor recruitment. Uh, and all municipalities contribute to a doctor recruitment fund. Um, the fund has over over a million dollars in it. That it's it's kind of grown bigger than uh, than plans to spend the money for, for right now. But there is plans to spend money. So in for this year, uh, what the municipalities agreed to do was. Uh, Take a portion of their contribution, and it's it's used to pay off the deficit of the of the lines to fold up their operation, their recycling operation, and the the link that lines recycling has to doctor recruitment, or, or, or the, the the link that we were able to, that we drew to to it was the fact that anything medical, the lines are first in line to make a to make a donation. So so. Really, this ensures their continued cooperation for uh, big things that may be coming down the pipe, medical-wise, uh, whether it be doctors or equipment coming. Um, so that that was a decrease for this year. Um, our agreement with the other municipalities is also uh, up for renewal as far as what we'll be doing with doc our doctor recruitment. So I'm not sure how that number will look next year. That normally it had been the uh, sixty-four thousand for the last four or five years. Um, so this year it was a, a one-time change to fold up the operations of the uh, of the lines recycling, so to speak. We didn't want to see the lines in a, in a deficit. No, no, I totally agree. Are you referring to the 12th and 3rd improvement? 12th and 3rd improvement. Okay. And like, the question is? The question is, so, like, it looks like it's one bylaw because they ha it has the same number, right? But I was just wondering, like, why is there two, because why is there two lines for one bylaw? And because the total amount then of that mill rate is 8.396 so like why i don't know maybe that's the way things are normally done i was just wondering if is that because we have the site it's not the mill rate it's not vision flank and just the first line is the first line is for frontage and the second line is for flankage it's per, per foot. It's not per meal assessment. It's per foot. If you look at the. Because well, like, like under mill rate, it shows six point. Well, eight. at the very top of the column, it's mill rate. But if you look a few lines down, it says mill rate and then or the frontage or per parcel. So some of these. Uh, Numbers are not no rates, they're per parcel. Like for example, the wellness center, you yeah. said that line is per parcel. The first line that for called wellness center is no rate, but the second one is per parcel. Right, so and the garbage is per parcel. So the 12th and 3rd, the first line is frontage, and the second line is flankage. And that's per parcel? Per foot. Per foot. Frontage and flankage are right. per foot. Per foot. Here, where it says, general municipal, 
question, I should say, where it says at large. I don't know what that means, but the, um, I guess it's going up from last year. Um, quite a bit. It was last year, it was 8.576, and this year it's 14.183. I don't know what that is, I'm just curious. Where, whereabouts are you? Did you sit at your own bottom? Edge. At the very bottom, at large? At large, we all the properties of the municipality. Okay. So, so that's the way for everybody. Everybody would be affected by the auto unless they're exempted. Uh, through the municipal act, they have an exemption, which it would only be proud of that, and we would be exempt the same day. Mr. Gnade, do you have an answer to that one question yet, or do you want to? No, miscellaneous revenue includes seven supplier, everything from supplier rebates to donations to developers contributing infrastructure. If I don't have a specific breakdown, and it varies from year to year, depending on whether it is. I was just going to say, I, I, during the budgeting process, we don't have, we have a number of years spread out. It's remarkably consistent in terms of what we get within a few thousand dollars. Last year was a, a spike for, I don't remember exactly what it was, but there was a, a, a couple of particular items that spiked it. We have no reason to believe that's going to spike again this year, and so it goes back to the, for the budgeting process, goes back to what we've expected, because that's an amount we've gotten for years and years in a row with, it, with adjustment for inflation. That would be a fair statement, Mr. Canadian? Not a yes. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you. So, uh, upon hearing all persons present, I now adjourn the hearing. Resolve that the bylaw 5 2019 tax bylaw, tax levy bylaw, be read a second time. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Lintoni. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. <clears throat> Resolve that bylaw 5 2019 tax levy bylaw be read a third time and a final time and be passed. Moved by Councillor Gray, seconded by Councillor Delorier. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Resolve that the special meeting of council now be adjourned. Moved by Councillor. Tony, seconded by Councillor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? We are adjourned. <laughs>